Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Ben the Human Plays Exogate Initiative. These people... There's too much... This person wants a baguette? This person's upset? What's wrong? Do you have a thing? Oh, you have the data th uh Uh-oh. <laughs> That's right. I forgot. Last episode, we brought back a data packet, and Lee Wu is like, I don't know what to do with this thing. Can you just, like, put it on the ground? I think I need to expand out my library as well. Let's see here. I kind of have an idea of what I want to do. What if we do it like so? Lee, can you put that thing on the ground? <laughs> I don't know how to help you. I shouldn't have told you to do it. Also, Wagner doesn't have a locker? How is this happening? We haven't even hired that many people. Here, put this over here. Now you have a locker. All right. Lee put the thing on the ground somewhere. I think that might be it. Sure is. You see this thing? I don't know how to pick it. I don't know if I'll, I'll ever be able to pick it up again. It might just exist on the ground. But, but in order for us to be able to process that, we need to finish researching alien culture. Good news is it's under underway, so that's cool. The other stuff, what, what would we like to do after that? Holy crap, we can make our exosuits better? I didn't know. We would like to upgrade our... This. The canopy bed, I think. Yeah, I don't want to do the nap pod. Not only is it more science to research, it, it makes our people unhappy. And I guess the benefit would be that it, it the turnover... Not turnover. I guess, yeah, the turnover of the teams being ready would be faster. You also don't have a bed? What happened? Oh, they're back. Thanks for some more maglum. I think I'm gonna swap back to... We're gonna swap back to... To, uh, what's this called here? Asteril. Because I would like to get more money, I think. I have to claim it? Oh, I have to claim you. And then claim you. I understand. Sure. I don't know if there's a difference between Asterils, <laughs> but I guess we'll see. I know this is going to make a Omega Bravo upset, but we'll, we'll set it up right away. And then they'll go when they're ready. They're not ready to go right now. They're too tired. I'll let them decide when they're ready. Wagner needs a bed, though. Where are we going to shove another bed? This is why I really want to get those canopy beds, because this will solve a lot of our problems. Actually, here's an idea move you and move them to the foot of the bed like so and then we can shove a bed here in the corner Ta-da! now we're like we could build one more bed in here but then we're at the limit of what we can achieve bed wise so the the canopy beds are going to be pretty important okay so we've got aliens here we've we are defensive defensively missioning it Oh, we're not yet. This is what Cyber Team's purpose is. Go ahead, Cyber Team. Good. Now, we've explored a lot. There's an unusual event. Are, are we left with level fives? It's been a couple days since I've recorded, so I'm like catching up with my... Oh, there... Nope, we've already explored that one. Looks like level fives are all we have left. The exosuits are going to become relatively important soonish. What a dumb connection I've made here. Un unconnect. That one doesn't even have scientific potential. Not a perp. There's no purpose for it. <laughs> let's go to the. Let's go to the un. The unexplored. Uh, event. Those are fun. Okay, you guys are my reoccurring teams. I wish I could make this window bigger. Can I? I don't think I can. So let's see. 575, 582. Oh, because you're the scholar. I honestly shouldn't send the scholar when there's no... No alien involved, correct? Are there even any other aliens on the map here? I don't see any, so... X-Ray Alpha is not ready to go. Nobody is ready to go. 
The next step is getting, uh... Exonium. Because then I can make... A light exosuit, which would be pretty cool. But we also need a place to store a light exosuit. Which costs 10 power and... $2,000? We, we have that money. We would need at least three. Is that a speaker? Or are those lockers? So maybe... Well, we'd probably need more than three, but we'll start with three. Because if multiple teams needed exosuits. So cyber team going in. X-ray alpha's going in. Or oh, they're already in there. Cyber team Omega Bravo's going in. Cyber team, why are you never ready to go? Maybe it's because Wagner doesn't have a bed. Can I assign you a bed? You do have a bed. Well, now <laughs> I don't know what's going on. XO, we're on KB349. There's a uh, there's a Scarb scouting force across the plateau, probably looking for new worlds to invade. And the queen leader is them with them. I think they're preparing to gate out of here. You need to take out their leader, but I don't think we're like prepared to do that. Although this is probably my best squad, honestly. Back to their homeworld, perhaps? Perhaps, though I'm more interested in taking out their leader if it could stop the invasions. Wait, there are more queens here. More than one leader? What? <laughs> more than one leader? Could be some kind of shared leadership. A hive mind, maybe? Either way, we have multiple priority targets if we want to stop the invasions. But they're big and heavily armored. I don't think conventional weapons will hurt them. And they're about to leave. You have to try... I have an idea involving the gate. That sounds fun. What's the idea? Go on. I open our gate on top of their gate. I don't know what that would do. Is it safe? Rudy Cobb assured me that it's perfectly safe. It will disrupt their signal and collapse the wormhole. Sure. Yeah, I, I agree with her, if you say so. <laughs> as long as you don't destroy the gate and strand us here. Taking cover now. Look sharp, Exo. They're opening their Exo gate. Sending you the coordinates. I'm opening the gate at the coordinates. Holy hell, the intersection of gates, it's beautiful, but I think it's gonna blow. Get down! Oh, thank god, I thought I'd killed my team. <laughs> hey, everybody's affinity increased. They're like, yeah, I like this team. You got one, XO. The portals intersected and then collapsed. One of the queens is dead on the ground. The others are gone, wherever they were going, I guess. Or lost to space and time. Uh, Examine the corpse. Heading over. I'll stand by. The body is all charred up. This thing is massive up close, but the gate tricked the gate trick you pulled did a number on it. We need to prize open the outer shell. What's inside? That's strange. This substructure has organic parts. It's a cyborg alongside machinery and what seems to be communications equipment. There's a memory unit here too. I think we can decode it. The expert should handle it. Get to it. I 79% succeeded. Good job, Song. Song is like, wasn't she like one of the original scientists we hired? She's a, she's an OG. She's great. Uh, I think this thing is more like a field commander designed to route instructions to drone units like those in the base. To other commanders. There's something else here as well, XO. Coordinates, I think, where, where it was headed. Could these be the coordinates of their homeworld? Now we turn the tables. How the turn tables. If we could impart a program into a live commander like those that got away, we might be able to change the way they think on a fundamental level, even distribute this to other commanders and drones. So the so it's like a computer virus. So the idea would perpetuate recursively until they all believed it. We could stop the invasions and then some. I like this play. <laughs> this raises ethical implications. I like a computer virus. I said it out loud. I have to pick that one. It's like Baldur's Gate rules. Kind of, but we wouldn't be corrupting their systems. There's a lot to work out, but it would be more like a software patch, I suppose. One that plants a new idea in their minds. Then we'd let them transfer it themselves across their network. And if those coordinates are in their home world, then that's where we could distribute the program. We need to build something powerful and mobile enough to reach as many as possible. That's no mean feat. Nor was building the Exogate, but look where we are. And they're back. This is it! You know how to stop the SCARB invasion, so get busy in the workshop and build that patch deployer. Or let's not beat around the bush here, the doomsday device. Deal them a blow our share price will never forget. Oh my god. Look, I'm for all for stopping those things invading our base, but at what cost? Just don't do anything I wouldn't do, okay? What the hell does that mean, Rudy? Just like, completely... 
cryptic response from my boss, essentially. <laughs> uh, Katie Wagner, what is your problem? There. Are you good now? Can you sleep? Good lord, she's gonna collapse and die. It says she's hungry. I don't know how to help that woman. <laughs> you guys were supposed to go into the gate like a month ago. Thomas Martin wants to go into the gate? Well, tell your, your teammate to have lunch or something. Okay. So, uh, X-Ray Alpha is back, so we should probably send Angel Squad out. Possibly to... I would like to examine the next level... Or another one of these... Material missions. It looks like that one's the closest one. So let's create mission. It's going to be tricky for anyone other than X-Ray Alpha actually hmm because hard for them that that's not a, a non-starter and the even the the full engineering team doesn't really have enough experience to deal with it oh what if i kicked lee Wu off this team and gave like miller well, who's our best engineer probably miller huh yep and she's already on X-Ray Alpha. Maybe it doesn't make any sense to put her... Maybe it doesn't make any sense to put her on a on a different team. What if we took um, one of our doctors? Like, what if we took Julie? Julia. Does that make it easier? Easy-ish. Although we needed... <laughs> we'd need an engineer. Okay, hold on. So X-Ray Alpha... You're, you're, you're gonna go on this one. You don't go right away. You'll go when you're ready. However, I would like to send Julia and Angel Squad out elsewhere. So these guys are friendly. That is a level 8. Let's do the level 5. Okay, and then Angel Squad. Julia, you're gonna get some... You're gonna get some, some field experience today. How fun. Hey, three samples. Good job, team. We're at 174. We need 400 for the new bed, so we got a ways to go there. Let's go ahead and build out the library over here. Book. Whoop. Whoop. And the way I was picturing moving these around is I'd like to make kind of like a funny little display thing. Like, put them in the middle of the room. Like, here. And then, like, throw them back to back. So you can still move around. Thanks, guys, for coming back. Like that. Like that. And then we can build more if we want. Oh, we have the cultural thing. Yes. Oh, this is way bigger than I thought it was. All right, we go like this. Incoming invasion? Okay. Well, let's not send anybody else out. And in fact, let's not send Cyber, cyber Squad, because that's three of our soldiers. And then... Data storage. Okay. So let's throw the data storage just like right there, and then we'll get another... Whoops. Cancel that. Get another sample storage and fill out our trophy case looking thing. Cool beans. And then we can, like, rebuild our... Our, the way we had our desks and our bookcases just because I like the way it looks Looking pretty snazzy assign data pack select data Select which data pack you want to study from all the data packs brought back from cultural study missions Each data pack requires a mission a minimum number of bookshelves Scholars use these books to better understand the alien culture and eventually complete the study so the world can be claimed Pretty cool. Where'd that data pack go? <laughs> Is it not here anymore? One out of five. There it is. We need three bookshelves. Hey, I guess it makes sense that we need more book bookshelves then. Don't let anybody tell you I didn't have a practical reason for doing it. Susa, do you not have a bed anymore? Is feeling sleepy. You better have a bed. 
Did a bed disappear? Is there supposed to be a bed here? Got injured getting the ore sample. We didn't even get to like do anything cool. You know what that probably says to me that it's not a cool a new ore. I bet it's a an old ore. Uh oh. Hold on. I'm gonna pause. I think my my bed bedrooms are bugged here. Yeah, I'm gonna pause real quick because Ashley Miller is like Oh wait. I don't know what's happening. Somebody's coming back. Alright, hold on. Pause it pause real quick. Let's pause the actual time in the game, and then let's pause the video. Alright. The bed came back? This locker is still effed up, though. You see this? Let's cancel it, and then just build a new one, I guess. That's the only bug I've encountered with, like, regularity, is the... Is that sometimes things get built, and then they, like... <laughs> do they break for for whatever reason? I think that was... That must be been Alvis's locker for some reason. Assign him locker. Oh, yep, he's got it. Great. Oh, we're actually hemorrhaging money now. It's because we're not making money anymore, and we, we need more patents. We have a regeneration patent. As we're being invaded, I'm filling out paperwork here. So start writing that one. Here's another one for heat resistance. This one will be a good one. And then... That looks like that's it. We, radiation resistance is close, so... Keep an eye on what we're bringing back. Imminent invasion. We have five out of six soldiers. Rohit is probably with Angel Squad right now. All right, we've got three bugs coming in. Boom. Oh, that one. Oh, there's two of them. They escaped. Get them. <laughs> Don't let them blow up our, our engines. You guys, move faster. Uh, oh, man, it's in trouble. All right, that one's, that one's okay. Oh, we saved the day. Thank goodness. You guys, I specifically set up six of you to take it- <laughs> To stop them from entering the base like that. Uh, well, all's well that ends well, I guess. Alright, one new sample. 66 base science, which is pretty nice. And uh, Julie got some, some field experience. That's fun. All right, I'm 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 thinking what we're probably going to need air filtering is we're going to need some light exosuits in the future to be able to get these advanced ores. Although, maybe this one and this one, perhaps, there's a, a chance that we could make it work. But we do need to get more experience then. This one's been explored. Explored. Six. I think what we have, we still have a couple fives left. So here's a five. Create mission, send Saturn five out there. Saturn five is kind of a lower level squad now. So I almost wonder, so Lee, you're a soldier. You got beat up in the last mission. I almost wonder if it makes sense to swap Valentin and Ben out and steal two, two people from Firefox Go and Omega Bravo. Because, yeah, like, Lima and Johnson, both level sixes. So let's grab Johnson. Can I? Is she... I Do I have to pull her off a different team? <laughs> so let's take uh, take Johnson off of the squad. She's the leader, actually. Oh, they're actually on a mission right now. And so are they. Okay, hold on. We, we won't be able to send Saturn V out just yet. Claim a sector containing a native culture. Did we already do this data pack? Oh, we did now. I for forgot. We hadn't had the three bookcases just yet. Ah, Omega Bravo is going in right now. Okay, so when Firefox Go comes back, we'll take Leah Johnson off of that team, put her on Saturn V, and then put, uh, I think it was Ben, was the, the lower level scientist. No available storage for Astral. I know how to solve that problem. Sell material. Holy God, Astral's price is going through the roof. Yes, sell it all. We need to process all of our ore. Sell material. Just sell one so we... We can process the last of this ore that's just sitting in our container here. 372, we're so close to being, being able to get the canopy bed. 
That's like my my one goal for this episode. Get me get get enough science to do the canopy bed. And hopefully when Firefox Go comes back, they should have enough. Maybe we'll get lucky and get either radiation or food source. Luis got beat up. How did that happen? Alright, take Leah off of Firefox Go. Leah. Add her to Saturn V. Where is she? Right there. Li Liang is the soldier. She is playing! And then we want a an engineer from Omega Bravo when they get back. We'll probably snag... E I guess we could take either AG or Kamal. Because they're the same... They're like the exact same experience level. Yeah. And then, oh, we gotta throw... Yeah, Ben Wright onto Firefox Go. So then he can he can start gaining some experience there. Alright, Cyber Team, go back to the what you were trying to do. Go. Julia Souza's low mental What is wrong with you, team? Oh, she's just been beat up. Is injured. Ah, they're all take it. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley, what are you doing? I think they're all taking their turn to get diagnostic potted. Can we have a second diagnostic pod? Oh, we don't have enough juice. You know what that means? Well, first of all, we need to disconnect some... some pathways we don't intend to explore. Maybe like this guy. It does have high scientific potential, but we could always come back to it. Maybe disconnect... Oops. That guy. It says it's disconnected, but it looks like it isn't. Or it already is. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we got 215 power back, which allows us to sell this and replace it with the big guy. Like so. I love that the drones are, like, on it so fast. Hey, and we got the 400 necessary for... Not the mess hall. The better bed. Get it. Yes! And then as soon as we research that, we're going to do kind of a similar thing where we just start to cycle all of our stuff out. All right. The engineering squad is back. Let's take Kamal off and put V Burton. And then Kamal, you go here. And then do I, I just have a spare engineer? I sure do. That's weird. <laughs> when did that happen? Oh, I guess I swapped the engineer out for Julia. So let's put take Julia out, out of there. Put Grace back on the squad. All right. Now, now can we send Saturn V out? Still a high difficulty mission. There's not. There's no other options though. No threat detected. Oh, that's an eight. I'm dumb. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. Eight, six, eight. We've already been to that one. Five, five. Okay, these two are pretty good. But we will have to connect. Use up a lot of our power to get out there. But let's create a mission to that one. And Angel Squad, that's your designation. Timo is too hungry. You don't say. Food source. Hey, hey too hungry. You want to work on... What the heck? Stop killing people. Was that Julia again? She did, she did it again. Julia, you absolute murderer. Practicing shooting. Who did she just kill? Luis Ribeiro? Luis, no. Julia, you psycho. <laughs> She's the worst surgeon ever. Who? What team was Luis on? We need to replace him. Was he on Cyber Squad? He was not. He was on Firefox Go. Luis, we we barely knew you. Oh man. Nobody get hurt around Julia. She will try to s surgery you and put you right out. No available storage for Maglum again. 
Oh, I guess I'll sell another one. Sell one. Oh yeah, auto sell excess materials. Anything above 20. Well, we only store 20, so I don't think that'll exactly work. So why don't we just sell one? Oh, I'm dumb. <laughs> I was trying to sell the the astral and I accidentally hit sell thing. Oops. My robots are like, what are you doing? How's the uh, research going? Almost to 50. Oh man, I, now I have to go hire a new scientist. Jeez, Louise, two science. Well, we'll leave it at five and then we'll lower like the time. There we go. Time and money. We can leave their their salary at. That's a that's a way to save money on salaries, I suppose. Angel Squad to base. I think we're trespassing on a crime scene or the set of a vampire movie. We're set standing in the middle of a meadow and there's blood everywhere. Our boots are covered in it. Describe the flowers. Are you sure it's blood? I'd say I'm 50% sure. The color and consistency match, but to be scientifically accurate, more analysis would be needed. Sample the blood. Why do I think there are plants there? Did he say something about plants and my brain just skipped over it? Sample the blood. You failed, you goober. Alright, stay as long as you need. Any last orders? Follow the standard guard duty procedures. Yeah, what if- I don't want any- any vampires to get anybody. Oh, requires three people. Yeah, well, I'm working on it. 23 hours and you'll have a new- a new guy. Maybe we should swap, uh, swap Frank and Julia for a bit here. Julia's got a pretty bad track record when it comes to, uh, successful surgeries. All right, Ashley Miller's finally getting treated. I was, I was looking to get another pod in here at one point. Can I put them next to each other? Is that allowed? It doesn't look like it. Sure put it in front of the door of all places she got frostbite where the heck were you that you got frostbite wild all right new scientist alex walker don't ask who you're replacing all right, alex walker is the cheapest and jolly is a bit more expensive and has one more logic and then samuel becker is the most expensive but has three more in perception social and knowledge all right why don't we get a guy who's a bit of a, a better jack of all trades and then samuel becker you're on firefox go now there you go ben wright has gained a level good job ben myself land can i not on hold you oh you're still Mentally unfit? Where is Julia? Not the murderous one, the other one. I, I don't think her name is Julia now that I think about it. Oh, it is. It is Yulia, I assume. I, is that how you pronounce that? Where is she? How do I find her? There she is. What's wrong? You have bad mental health. Is there a way to fix that? Could I send you to the doctor? She is stressed. Oh, we got a mission. Greetings from the Dracula planet. Seven days, but it felt like an eternity. Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about this nickname, Status. Good. What about the sample? Oh, wait. No threats have appeared. Walking the perimeter all week was tiring, but it's what we trained for. We collected a large jar of blood to analyze it. One of us fainted, but they'll remain anonymous. They're okay now. <laughs> well, hematophobia is a thing. It really is. However, the blood is in fact sap and the algae is seaweed. It's crimson because it's feeding on red clay composed of corroded minerals. This sounds very much like Crimson Peak. Have you guys seen that movie? I think they're making a Crimson Peak reference. That doesn't explain why the sap was outside the plant. Seaweed means water. Good point, and thanks to our research, we've been able to corroborate that this whole place used to be an ocean. The seaweed's been drying for centuries. First it turns red, then sap oozes from its stipes and blades. 
By the end of the process, only a pool of sap remains. Okay. So it dried and died out in the sunlight just like a vampire. Now you mention it, yes, exactly like a vampire. I guess we start in our own vampire flick after all. And the award goes to Angel Squad. Gee, thanks, XO. Don't let it go to your head. XO out. What should we do next? We end the mission. Oh, I thought you'd bring back a sample. Apparently not. 230 science, though. As good as a sample, or if not better, because then we don't have to waste time sample, sample researching. We should sell our Astral. Sorry, Ashley, I didn't mean to click on you there. Yes, sell the Astral. I still would love to get my hands on the next level of... Of ore, or, or the next type of ore, Exonium, so I can make those suits. Which I assume will help with my... I, I, you know what? I'm just going to send them. Like, that's the whole purpose of Cyber Team anyway. I should get them out there before the next time a, uh, the aliens invade. Um, but I'd like to be able to get this so I can actually make the light, the light suits. The light exosuit. Because right now they're just going in without suits. Can't be good for your skin. Maybe it makes sense to build, like, a full set of... Oh, oh they all brought ore back, finally. I think that might be the first time that's ever happened. Go like that. And then we probably do want to build this room out even further. Like, the way I'm imagining it is I kind of want to have 12 light suits and then, ten, like, maybe six heavy suits. Something like that. Well done, Saturn V. Ooh, good good specimen. Well done, well done. We lost money again. But we did make money because of the ore we were selling. Cyber Team is out there. Hold on. They've lost mental health. Sol J Souza is upgraded. Lots is happening. Defense mission report. You might recall how the Morphles created doppelgangers of gators in Chastisoft World. Well, returning missions found no signs of them. Until now. They've combined into a giant steaming ge yellow gelatinous monster is the only word for it. It looks hungry. Opening the gate. Secure a perimeter here will take more, more missions than I thought. Stressed. Can we, like, get her some, some mental help? Is there a, a psychiatrist desk? Intensive care unit. It treats physical conditions. It, that's where you go to diagnose mental health conditions. I don't know how to help her. Oh, the, the, we've, we've glitched again. Hold on. We do have access to the canopy bed. Actually, okay, I'm gonna pause the episode there and what I'm gonna do is off camera, I'm gonna go through and and rebuild all of the beds here in order to, to rebuild with canopy beds only. I don't want you guys to have to watch me cycle everybody's bed in and out of existence. So we'll pause the episode there. If you guys enjoyed the, the episode, click the like button. It helps me out a lot. If you want to see more Exogate Initiative or the other videos I have going on on the channel, subscribe to the channel. That also helps me out a lot. But until next time, everybody, I hope you have a good one and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye, everybody.